Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. Today I thought it would be fun to do just a plain good old classic plan with me in my work planner. So if you're interested in seeing how I use the Modern Farmhouse sticker book to set up my week in my work planner, just keep on watching. So I recently switched up my planner system and I put five of my happy planners that I had combined into like a mega happy planner of like eight planners. I put five of them. I split, I split that planner into several planners and I put five of them into this much thinner, even though she's still kind of chunky, this much thinner Franken planner. And I put the Hello 2022 seasonal doodles cover on here because it's just gorgeous. And the discs, I made them into this retro rainbow. Um, I used like a various discs from various planners to like create this particular color style. But um, yeah, so this is my work planner. And we're going to be working in my... Um, what is this? My research section. So this is my graduate school um, scientific research section. It's the most important thing right now in my life. Um, I'm trying to graduate at the end of August. <laughs> I keep on saying that I'm going to graduate and it just keeps on pushing back. But, you know, that's grad school. So I use a vertical style um, Oasis, Mickey Mouse Oasis um, happy planner. And this is the monthly, there wasn't a lot of things going on um, this month um, in terms of like big events. So it's kind of blank, but there's a couple of things that I want to make a note of. So I'm going to grab my rainbow boxes really quick um, because there were, there was, I want to make a note of what happened this week. Let me grab this red circle sticker. Um, so it's currently April 16th, and on Wednesday, I got a call from a university that I was applying to a position uh, after my graduation, and I heard some good news. It's not certain yet whether I am going to get the position or not, but I just had a follow-up call with the university um, because they wanted to see some more application materials, so... I just want to make a note of that, like that happened this day. So that was pretty exciting. It's the first week in April. This is the second week. Um, I used Simply Gilded stickers and Princess Elegance stickers. And this is the week that I want to decorate in and I want to use my modern farmhouse sticker book. So I already have two stickers on here already because um, sometimes when things happen like earlier in the month, I just go ahead and put down the sticker. I put a sticker down on the week that it's going to happen so that way I remember that it's going to happen. I don't know how I'm going to be decorating, so I just sometimes the, like whatever I lay down first doesn't really match with, um, with what is eventually going to end up on the page. So let's just get to stickering and playing around with uh, the modern farmhouse sticker books. So just put some nice um, decorative stickers here. And you know what? I kind of want to pull for some washi tape. I feel like I don't have that much of washi tape that is like reminiscent of modern farmhouse or um, <laughs> that goes too well with this sticker book. But I'm going to go with this kind of neutral white washi tape that has just some nice, um, you know, gold foil script and some red script as well. It says bloom on it. Let's just put that here at the top. I got this washi tape from uh, a collection of like gardening washi tape from Recollections from Michaels, I believe. And it's pretty. 
So we'll have that there. And the main thing that I want to do this week is I have two large goals that I want to um, complete in terms of like work things. Let me see if I can find a good sticker to write those in. Maybe, maybe this green sticker, important. I like using the sidebar to write down my goals and what I need to accomplish. So let me pull from my pencil case and I'll grab my Plant Phi Zero Micron. This is one of my favorite pens. Um, important goals. Um, so first, uh, honeybee size, honeybee colony size quantification. That needs to get done by Thursday. Maybe Maybe I'll have a few hours to finish Friday morning, but I'm trying to complete this um, colony size, honeybee colony size quantification analysis, which means I'm trying to count or estimate the number of honeybees in a colony um, in order to like take the size of the honeybee colony into account when I'm measuring other aspects of its behavior, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm a honeybee scientist. I do honeybee research um, on their genetics and behavior, and I work with honeybee hives. And the size of the colony really matters in terms of how it behaves and how well it does in the wild and in the managed apiary. And so we're trying to make sure that we know the size of the honeybee hive before we draw conclusions of about that hive. And so in order to do that, you need to know how many bees are in a hive. And that is a very difficult thing to do because there are thousands of bees in a hive. And so right now, me and another graduate student are trying to develop this method where we use um, image software to assess the number of bees in a hive. And then from estimating the number of bees on a frame, we're able to kind of extrapolate and estimate the number of bees in the overall hive. It's really time consuming work. And so that's gonna definitely take a large chunk of time here. So we have that, that I want to accomplish. And I also want to um, develop local ancestry, uh, genetic analysis. I'm also working on this huge computational project where I'm trying to analyze um, genetic ancestry within honeybees, but on a very like gene by gene, chromosome by chromosome basis. And it's such a big project and uh, sometimes it really like frustrates me because it's so huge and I feel like I'm make barely making any progress with it. I just need to set times to like workshop the, um, this analysis. So these are the two major goals I have this week. So what I like to do now that I have my goals set up is I like to um, then decide my work schedule for the week and set up a schedule that helps me, you know, complete these tasks because these are huge tasks. I'm not gonna get them done in one sitting. I really have to make sure that I'm scheduling the time to complete these tasks um, and break it down into smaller to smaller tasks. So I'm gonna put the sticker down here. Well, actually, I don't know if I like that. Ah, I changed my mind. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to give myself a set amount of time each day to work on both of these projects. So let's start off with, and I have my Google Calendar here as well so I can see when is a good time to start. So I'm gonna start off with Monday. 
um, honey bee colony size workshop. Um, let's go 7 to 10 a.m. A three hour workshop. Let's do that. And then uh, let's see from uh, and I think I'm going to do the same thing for Tuesday and for Wednesday and um, I'm just going to write I'm going to just like put arrows to kind of demonstrate that this is, I'm having this workshop again at the same time on these days because I don't need to write the whole thing uh, again. It's enough to have it written once and then just have some arrows. And I also have some honeybee stickers here. I have these because I obviously work on honeybees. And so I like kind of like popping them down here and there, um, just to have some fun. So honeybee colony size workshop. Okay, three workshops, probably one last workshop on Thursday at, let's see, three to six, probably. Um, and this time I'll write it again because it's on the other page. So honeybee colony workshop at 3 to 6 p.m. So I've set up a number of workshops, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So hopefully I will complete this larger goal by Friday at 10 a.m. when I have to meet with my collaborator on Zoom to discuss like our joint um, analysis. And then I also need to do this local ancestry genetic analysis. So local ancestry. I always hate when I run out of room in my sticker box. So I'm gonna start that 11 to 1, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then on a Tuesday, I'm going to have the same workshop, but this one's gonna be um, 12 p.m. to 4.30. It's gonna be a long chunk of time, so. Hopefully I'll get some good stuff done there. And then lastly on Wednesday, I'll have my last workshop of the week. Well, actually no, on Friday I'll have some time. Um, let's see, 10, 15 to 12, 45. So, 10, 15 to 12, 45 is going to be my third computational workshop. And I call them workshops because I like to give myself like a set amount of time and I kind of treat it like a class. Like I have to be there, I have to show up at 10, 15 and I have to be completely present until 12, 45. And then I shut my laptop down and I return to it when I can. And that's kind of how I like to um, set up my projects because they're huge and you can spend hours on them and get totally burnt out. And then, um, and you could also just procrastinate them because they're so huge and not do any work. So yeah, you gotta like break them down into sizable chunks of time and like schedule time to get them done so thursday um okay so thursday I have the three to six i don't have time to do anything else that day because i teach thursday mornings i do have a lab meeting at 1 p.m 
Oh, this is gonna be a little too big. Mm. Yeah, this is a little too big. Ah! A little too big. We're gonna have to go with a smaller sticker. Um, let's see. Maybe one of these silver foil stickers. I'll put this here. Um, I have lab meeting. You know what, I also have a lab meeting at 3 p.m. here. This one's kind of optional though. It'll be nice if I can go, but not necessary if I decide not to go. Okay, I wish I had moved this sticker and this sticker like down so that I could use this top space for a, for something because I tend to like split up my vertical style in like morning events, afternoon events, and evening events. And I wanna do another um, genetic analysis workshop in the morning, that's the time I work the best, before this seminar and this meeting. It's already out of order, <laughs> to be honest. It's like 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and I only have room to like put a sticker down here. So I think I'm gonna do that, but that's gonna annoy me so much. Um, ugh, it is what it is, I guess. Okay, so I think I'm gonna need another black box. Uh, let's see so that I can coordinate with um, the rest of the black boxes that I have going on here. Let's see. But where's my, where are my like half boxes or quarter boxes even? What is going on? It's so strange. Like I want like this style of box or this shape of box, but in black and we don't have that. That's so surprising. I would think that there would be... <gasps> we have some more here. Okay, yeah. I'm surprised... Um, I'm surprised we don't have more black boxes in this rainbow sticker book. I think I'm gonna have to end up picking up Mojo Jojo's um, black boxes. Let's layer this. So let's layer this here, and then I'll put um, local genetic ancestry analysis seven AM to ten AM. It's gonna be a packed morning. I'll be seven AM to ten AM, ten AM meeting, eleven AM seminar. And then, oh, oh my God, I just remembered. I also have a meeting with the seminar speaker at 1.30. Let me use a nice green box. At 1.30, my schedule on Friday is like so out of order. This is insane. It goes 11 a.m., 10 a.m., 1.30, 7 a.m. But sometimes that's just, it's just what happens. So I'll use, I'll try to use like a little like upcoming sticker to make sure that I remember. So Quinn McFrederick, McFrederick at 1.30 p.m. It's just a quick 30 minute meeting. So <laughs> it's gonna go this, that, that, and then this. Completely out of order, but that's what happens sometimes. And there we have it. That is Friday. And then Saturday, let me use this weekend fun sticker. Weekend fun. And then that is enough, I think, for the week. Um, I am gonna add myself I am gonna give myself a little checkbox on Sunday. I do like to do a couple of things over the weekend. Um, I just work a lot, so it helps to just get some stuff done over the weekend. So I think uh, that box is fine for for the weekend. I don't, I don't do a lot over the weekend. Um, so I don't need a lot of checklists or anything like that. 
Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Maybe I'll grab another full box. Put this here. Oh, no, that's way too crooked. I don't mind some crooked stickers, but um, sometimes I like push it too far. Maybe I'll use some of these little cute little accents. Wow, I love Modern Farmhouse. It is so cute. I wish there was, I wish they had this leaf in like more designs because it's exactly the same as like, yeah, they just have this exact same shape. So it looks kind of weird if I put too many. Just put that there. And I think we're good. I think we're gonna call it good. Let me just do one last flip through and see if there's anything else I want to add. Um, let's see. Maybe some of these. Maybe this gold foil leaf there. Some gold dots on up there. Maybe this. Okay, now I am satisfied. I love how it came out. Um, I'm gonna leave this box here empty. Let me add one more honeybee actually. <laughs> have to I have to with, uh, with since I study honeybees so cute okay I think we're good I'm really happy with how it turned out and my mind is definitely feeling a little bit more relaxed knowing that I have a game plan to help me um, figure out what I need to figure out next week Okay, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love the Modern Farmhouse book so much. It's so beautiful. You cannot go wrong with this sticker book. But yeah, I'm feeling really confident and relaxed knowing that I have a game plan for next week. I have these huge projects that I need to work on and just kind of breaking it down and just giving myself time to, you know, set time to just work on these projects really makes me feel like, I'm halfway there, so I just need to sit down and do the work. So really like how the spread turned out. The only box I'm gonna leave empty is this guy down here because um, I don't really decide what I need to do over the weekend until it is the weekend and I know how much time I have over the weekend, what I'm willing to do over the weekend and what needs to be finished up from the week in order to prepare for the next week. So we're just, we're just gonna leave that one blank and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye beautiful.